the Mighty Misfit Menagerie or mm. cast. Yes. Welcome. Tonight we are going to be doing the fourth book in Candlekeep Mysteries. It is called A Deep and Creeping Darkness. I will be your DM tonight. My name is Helena. <laughs> Hello, Helena. And we get to see Bo again. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. And Bo has made a triumphant return. <laughs> <laughs> Um, recap wise, does anyone want to do, I forgot to ask if anybody wanted to do a little recap. I mean, we're at a good ending point, so. I could try. Please. I mean, cause really what happened at the end of last episode is we went to the shadow fell, got our asses thoroughly handed to mm -hmm. us and ran away. Yeah. That's really what happened. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went back to Candlekeep, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cause there was a white. Uh, well, so we fought some gargoyles and we were like super confident and wasted all of our resources yeah. on two gargoyles. Uh, and then we were surrounded by ghouls, which um, were much worse than the gargoyles. Uh, and then I think Laszlo died twice, three times? Went down. One, went zero. Down through twice. Uh, I know Naya went down once during the gargoyles. Kirill, I think you came out okay. I don't think I went. I got really close to going down, but I dived into a grave before it happened. Uh, and then we left a nice note for the were ravens because we yelled at them when we got back. And then I believe they were just doing their job. My mm -hmm. temper got the better of me. <laughs> and then we buried the book. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I like tore it apart or something, right? We I couldn't tear something. it apart, but we mold earth buried it five feet mm -hmm. underground, and then perfectly, like no one can mm -hmm. see the hole. And then we went back to Candlekeep, and I believe six months has passed. Do you want us to talk about that time? Or? Uh, yeah, let me go into that. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to say um, about six months have passed since you guys returned to... Oh, jeez. So sorry. <laughs> My computer just frozen and freaking out. Um, <laughs> it's been about six months since your guys' return from Shally Brantifax. Uh, for nice part, she was just a little quiet, a little quieter, a little less jokey <laughs> um, for a couple of weeks following our little adventure out into the uh, beyond um, and so if anybody asked her about it she just kind of like uh, didn't really answer too well and just kind of brushed it off and changed the subject um, a couple weeks after returning she decided to take a leave so she's been gone <laughs> for most of the six months she has been writing you all regular letters they all have different details though so unknown if all is true none of is true so if we compare letters we know that none of us actually know the truth 100 correct you would all if you had all compared letters which she of course made sure to tell you that everything she had written was for your eyes only so. Me and Carol would <laughs> I think we've known Naya long enough to be like, so what did you get this time? <laughs> my my thought is like it would be a matter of Carol walking in and going, oh my god, can you believe that this happened? <laughs> Who? Naya. No, Naya's on this. Show me your letter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that's kind of what she's been up to. Have you guys been up to any up to anything in these six months? Well, Ben Lynn, um, having had a near death experience and kind of like thinking that maybe we aren't going to go on any more adventures, um, uh, to honor his Earth Genasi heritage, he has gone to the Smiths. I can't remember what it's called in Kettle Keep, but uh, and he's taken up smithing. Um, so he made himself some armor. Uh, and on a shopping trip with uh, Kirill and Paige to Waterdeep, he bought a f uh, flower pot um, for the bar, which awakened into a small shrub that now is a living, talking shrub that lives at the bar. What's its name? Uh, Fairgood. Fairgood, and it is non-binary, probably. Yes, okay. and it's a mulberry bush. Interesting. So he very regularly gives people mulberries. Awesome. He's a friendly bush. Yeah. <laughs> he's technically neutral, but I mean, he's like Benlin. So I don't take him on adventures or anything, but there's now an awakened shrub at the, <laughs> at the bar. I believe I have a picture of it, but I don't know how to show it on stream. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else? Anything going on? Um, Cural left... Uh, for about a month afterwards to go and visit family, um, which 
is not entirely what he actually did, but it was enough of an excuse to get out in a similar kind of situation of uh, not trying to, you know, be too public about it. And I think that even if uh, he showed Benlin the letters, he would have tried to, like, put the details out of his head to not connect the dots because he uh, feels in a very similar place about a little bit of added trauma from the last... uh, Encounter. Oh, I like his feet. Those are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know um, if that would show up. <laughs> but after about a month, returned to Candlekeep uh, and kind of took up where he left off. Uh, I think that as things have gone for Kirill, what matters is consistency. And if you can get back into a routine, then everything will be fine. How so? What are you doing? I, um... I, I I bound uh, the letter that Naya uh, gave me in a uh, really nice dark dark green leather, uh, silver inlay, um, and I uh, tried to submit it into Candlekeep, but they didn't really want it. So now I just I keep it next to me uh, in in my room, and I uh, I'm reading a, a lot, and I have a new spell, um, and that, that's it. Okay, what's your new spell? Uh, well, it makes me do things with the air and, and gusts of, of wind and stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah. All right. No additional tentacles yet. Excellent. Mm. <laughs> How about you, Bo? Um, How did you feel about our trip to getting our asses kicked that you weren't there for? <laughs> um, Bo was extremely happy that he was not there because he's terrified of birds. <laughs> um, which I don't think he's talked about with anyone else. There were a lot of birds. There so were like, insane amount of birds. Yeah. Very large birds. <laughs> so like, as everyone was describing it, he was like, kind of like, oh, oh, they're bar ravens? What? Like, how many it's birds were none of us came back. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and they were humans? <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so he was happy that you guys survived. Um, but also happy he was not there for it. Because <laughs> not like that. Um, I don't think he's read Naya's letter yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I've written, she's written several letters. She's been gone like five months. So probably one a month for each of you. He probably read the first one. He didn't read any happy. of them though. Jeez. And then, well, I think he keeps meaning to read them, but then forgets about them. He's a very, very busy tortoise. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Does he oh you're a turtle? Read, tortoise. A tortoise, tortle. I know, <laughs> tortoise are, I mean, tur- tortles are tortoise people, is what I was referencing. Okay. <laughs> um, I, he just, I think he just, like, doesn't acknowledge that you're gone. Okay. He's like, she's whatever, it's fine. <laughs> he's he's like, in, he's stiff denial. <laughs> no, he's just like, it's, she's coming back, it's whatever, it's fine. It's not that he doesn't, like, love you and, like, well, okay. so just like, he's like, eh, she can tell you about it later. Okay, not to make it about me. <laughs> but thank you. Don't okay. Don't piss off the DM. <laughs> Just say you love her. <laughs> Just did. And Paige, how have you been doing? Paige has been trying to study more. He's been trying to read more books, uh, making an attempt to read with Laszlo and in Laszlo's company. I don't know if that's been successful at all. Why, why are you reading so slow? I, because you read slow at first and you build up speed. Isn't that oh. how this works? No, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The yes. more words I learn, then I'll be able to read oh, faster. okay. <clears throat> yeah. you, should, uh, you walk so slow. But kids, <laughs> it is ironic because he does everything else so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, studying, reading, uh, all of Naya's letters have been immediately responded to with <laughs> multiple pages of, like, Oh, nice. A lot of detail. Cool. Uh, like, you know, what, what Benlin's been making, um, Laszlo's reaction to different foods, uh, the absence of Kirill, and then uh, a, a suspicion that Bo is maybe scared of something. Like, yeah. I'm going to find out what, though. I'm going right. to find out what. Nice. I've made you so many crappy daggers mm-hmm. while I was learning. <laughs> <laughs> and the reception has been great, but Naya knows. Well, that has been gone. <laughs> no, they've been the letters. Oh, okay. They, she knows that they're, they've been a little subpar. Okay. I was learning. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, you are back at Candlekeep, right? I am. Um, so, uh, what is, uh, he, which I 
don't think he would have put in any of the letters, but was actually um, tracking down his previous captor. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, not interacting, but figuring out where she had left once the revolt occurred and she was dethroned. And were you successful? Uh, yeah. So you know yeah. where she's at. I know the location now. Okay. Awesome. Any final things anyone wants to say? Good six months. Uh, I did craft new armor for Benlin, so he's wearing armor he made himself. Cool. What does it look like? Uh, oh, do you want to roll for that? Oh, you didn't have to, you know, have to Well, no, I just have to, I, I can't remember because I did it like two weeks ago. I have it on my sheet here. Hang on. You could have carved various fungi and herbals <laughs> onto it. Oh. It's split mail, I can tell you that much. Um, one of the books page red. One of the books page red was on botany. And now he knows to make the joke that uh, Ben Lin is a fun guy. Okay. <laughs> Look forward to that. <laughs> so splint mail is kind of like plate armor, but more like a dress. Oh, neat. So it's like long strips of metal that are sewed onto cloth. Piloted armor. And I think once Kiro returned as well and found out that Paige was trying to better his uh, education, I would have asked you to, to read to me. <laughs> Aww. Uh, can you d- do it in the other room? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they think. I mean, no yeah. one really likes to listen to people read out loud. <laughs> I enjoy it. I love audiobooks. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> but one of those, like, kind of like flipping through a magazine, pronounce that. No, it's actually going to be um, fire breath, <laughs> not fear and breath. <laughs> It's epitome, not epitome. <laughs> I love how mean we are, but you have a 14 int. Like, yeah, you weren't dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this is all the beginning I think of the study. Helena's was better and a better example than mine. Because <laughs> no. epitome, that's how it's freaking spelled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been just kind corrections. He just wanted to help. A crevasse. Crevasse. <laughs> it's, it's a crevasse. <laughs> Shout out to Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, it has been the rainy season in this area of the world. So, been lots of storms lately. Today is no different. It's dark and stormy out there. But otherwise, pretty quiet at the hearth today, where Carol finds himself on a rare solo lunch. Um, the... The visitor level has dropped a little during this time, so it's mostly empty um, in the hearth today. (laughs) (laughs) Um, If anybody else would like to be there, you can as well. I just want Carol to be there for sure. (laughs) I mean, it's it's my inn, so I'm assuming that I'm there. Well, it's not an inn, it's a restaurant, but you know what I mean. If Benlin requires aid, I'm there. To be honest, Benla hasn't needed your aid as much anymore because he has the jackal wares now. So, like, now you're just more like you help out when you feel like it, and you're more just like. I don't want to say. Not tethered anymore. I don't want to say adopted son because I got to break out of that character type for myself. But <laughs> <laughs> now he just feeds you without asking you to do anything. <laughs> Hooray! I am- and take fair good on walks. Yeah. And I am the security tester for. Every recipe, yes, 100%. <laughs> it's been a lot of mulberry things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mulberry pie was great. The mulberry flan left a little to be desired. What's wrong with mulberry and custard? It was more about the thorns. Oh, well, but that's part of the appeal. <laughs> <laughs> the thorns don't appeal. Yeah, I know, and I just stick the claws out. Ugh, you non genasi and your weak mouths. <laughs> I have uh, scales and it wasn't pleasant either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it was it was good. It was uh, mm. no. It, we you discussed know, I'll, I'll this. I'm very happy to receive mm-hmm. negative criticism. It's yeah. it's good. It's it's good. That was good, Laszlo. It's a good start. Mm-hmm. I. Uh, take the bottle of wine that I always unchill in hopes that Naya's gonna walk in and I put it back as she has not shown up yet today. <laughs> She'll come. And she's ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to, I guess. 
I don't know if he's there or not, I can't tell. I have all of you scattered around in there now. It's been so long since I've used it. <laughs> I don't have access to the tokens. I have no idea. <laughs> Um, so if you go, and this is a lesson for anybody that's watching that's <laughs> newly DMing on Roll20, um, on each of these they'll have the little cog wheel. Uh, there's multiple ways to add people, but if you click on the cog wheel, it'll allow you to, um, there'll be like a little controlled by, and you can add all, all players. players. Mark is in there. Maybe well, that's under all players. Well. Yeah, I can just control Aslo at this point. And then, if it's any help in between adventures, we can set it up to where they're permanently like that. There's Mark. Yeah. Thank you. We can just keep role playing while she does that. Um, <laughs> um, uh, uh, Carol, um, so I have a new spell that I, and, um, and I'll just do it In, inside. <laughs> I'll do a gust of wind. I will look at all of my napkins flying in the air and go, now there's two. So I, I'm just a little uh, confused. Um, how do you how do you how do you learn spells? Well, um, that's a little complicated. Uh, mm-hmm. They sort of just come to me. Uh, I, I practice. I work. I, I work into finding uh, the rhythm of the weave itself. And occasionally, as I'm doing that, something will... Okay. No, it's the same, same, same. I just think deeply about the nature of the world, and my spells come to me. Mm. Uh, Same as well. I do both both on my end. Really? The the natural world and the weave at the Mm -hmm. same time? Yeah. That is quite impressive. Mm. So, we... My... I will elbow Kirill harshly. <laughs> Nature and the weave. Yes. So do some of your spells come, spells come from one and some from the other? <laughs> I will... Y- yes. Okay, so no, that's, yeah. that's reasonable. Mm-hmm. Because <clears throat> yeah. mm-hmm. We have different sources for what we're able to bring forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I have... Uh, um, um, do you want to see uh, N- Naya's letter? Um, I b- b- yes. bounce them pretty, pretty well. Uh, it's hands. Oh, I will open them. I I grow ivy around my hands. <laughs> and <it's> somehow worse. <laughs> oh, I will not do anything. <laughs> but I want to. So <laughs> Oh, here, you hold it open for me, then. They, <laughs> wait. I'll, like, take ten minutes to, like, <laughs> she fix it up. multiple letters? <laughs> I, yes, oh, one, I've I, gotten one every month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have I, I have five s- s- so far. I may have sent How many sure, look, look, look. have you been gone? About six months. Kira, look, how could she be having lunch here when she's in a completely different city? <laughs> well, okay, depending on the date, she's in... Look at the date of the letter. Okay, so the door opens <laughs> and the wind and rain, you kind of hear the sound <coughs> outside as a man steps in. He looks familiar to you, Carol. He is an older man, um, human man, and he's wearing pretty fine dress. He's got like a fancy rapier on his hip that actually looks like He's never used it before, <laughs> um, but he's got it. <laughs> so he kind of comes in and he's like wiping the rain off a little bit and he looks around and he sees you. Kirill, is that you? <laughs> yes. Oh, boys. Do I recognize him? <laughs> yes, he is. It's me, Perseverus Still, a patron of your family. My boy, I haven't seen you in so many years. Oh, yes, of course. I'm so sorry. It has been... Ages and you haven't changed a day. Oh, you flatter an old man. <laughs> Not at all at all. Embrace him. Uh, he passed you on the back. Please Good. come have a seat. The mulberry pie is phenomenal here. <laughs> oh, excellent. I this is the first time I've been able to I've been able to tear myself away. I've been researching for the past ten days, having no luck, but 
Um, it's so good to see a familiar face at Candle Keep. There's so few visitors right now. Oh, and it's 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 been so long since I've I've honestly gotten to see anybody from like my old days, I guess. How's uh, your family? Oh, they're uh, they're they're doing excellent. It's 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 been a few years, but we write. Yes, I haven't seen them in a while either. I've been traveling mostly, but. Um, excellent, excellent. Well, the food, I've heard great things from all the sages. They're always talking about lunch here. What do you have, good man? Well, uh, the special for today is a, uh, a cheese and mushroom board, roasted, roasted mushrooms I grew myself. Mm, you look like a fun guy. <laughs> yep, a stage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> Cannot do this accent. You're doing great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's not too personal, um, might I ask what it is that you're researching? Well, I will tell you. I've heard. Well, I've heard a few rumors about uh, an adventuring party here at Candle Keep that I may try to use their services. So let me tell you what's going on, and maybe you can make some introductions with this group. Oh, of course. <sighs> So, there's a, a little city uh, about 10 days away, Vermeillon. Have you heard of it? It's in the Stormhorn Mountains. I've seen it on a map, but I know nothing more than the location generally. Unfortunately, it's quite a dreary area, uh, especially now during the rainy season, but there's a platinum mine in one of those mountains. Vermeillon used to be the hub for this platinum mine, mining, but that was many generations ago. Um, and for some reason, the whole town just either went missing or fled. Uh, I've been looking for a way to get there to, I've been, well, I've been researching, trying to figure out what happened. Um, but my intention is to go there. I'd love to reopen the mine. I think, well, I've had a bit of embarrassing situations lately. Thankfully, you have not heard about them. Uh, and I'm looking to reclaim my name. But... It's difficult when I can't find a damned thing here in this grand library. I've run the sages ragged, but they haven't been able to locate much of anything about Vermeillon, except for this. And he, damn it, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> he tosses um, a slim tome in oh, front of you. Oh, he tosses it in front of Laszlo? <laughs> yes. um, except for this. But it's some penny dreadful uh, weaving a crazy horror story about what happened to Vermeillon instead of, you know, actually telling me what I need to know. <laughs> Tentacle to catch it. <laughs> I was going to use Vine Whip. Page kind of off by itself. What do I need to know? I. You. You, um. I'll just slip you some pie. <laughs> I'll. I'll, I'll look at you and, and like gently take it from the tentacle to okay. set it on the tabletop. Um, I mean, I, I'm happy to do anything to help an old friend of the family. Um, if you can't find any information, perhaps the only way to find it is to go. Well, that was... <sighs> I was hoping to hear you say that. I'm really itching to just check it out. I don't believe any of this ribble rabble. What is... What is this ribble rabble? <laughs> well, so I guess 70 years ago, there was an explosion in the mine. Terrible thing. Over 60 people were trapped. And they tried as they might to go rescue them. And only 16 were able to be found. 11 bodies were never even found. So 16 survived from that initial crash and... And then it gets even weirder, because after that, those people that survived started disappearing. Maybe one, maybe two a night, and nobody could tell what was happening. Every, there's, you know, the book is about, is like a, a secondhand account. Some former bard was asked several people that had left and, and just got secondhand accounts. So I don't, I mean, things can be greatly exaggerated, and who knows if this is even factual. So. Opinions, Laszlo? I, I haven't read this p particular book, but um, any knowledge that's accepted into to, to Candlekeep has to have some some semblance of, of, of truth or else they, they wouldn't have accepted it. I... Well, I talked to the sage and they said that it had been donated by a young woman whose grandfather used to live there. 
maybe the grandfather was the bard um, in question. I I didn't mean to bury the lead in all of this, <laughs> um, but unless I'm entirely mistaken, the only resident adventuring party currently. Benlin. Benlin Jabardi. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Mm. You are one of these adventurers. Yes, we are the bookkeepers. Oh, that is a name that certainly strikes some feeling in my heart. <laughs> uh, there's also uh, Laszlo. Oh, uh, yeah, hi, uh, I'm, I'm Laszlo. Please be gentle with the books, please. please. Oh, I have to admit, I've been a bit hot under the collar about not the limited information I've been able to find. So no, I have not been that nice, but you can take that book. I don't need it. I'll start reading it. <laughs> Our other associates are uh, Paige Thievery, uh, relative uh, you look extraction, quick on the feet, sir. <laughs> uh, extraction specialist. Yeah. Uh, Bo, uh, are you have time free? Yeah. Uh, also Bo, uh, he is a guard here at the keep and he has uh, escorted us before. Excellent, I feel very safe being near you, sir. Uh, and by far our most important member is um, one Kirill, I wouldn't know your last don't. name. <laughs> Kirill, you've started your adventuring career! Uh, so to speak, we've, we've been around a bit. It's, uh, I, I think that we are missing a member still, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, so we are under uh, full force, as it were, but... Well, I plan to accompany you there. I have, as you could see, a very formidable weapon. Oh, he's I gonna can't... accompany us there, guys. I try not to be offended by him comparing himself to Naya, and then continue <laughs> with the conversation. What is his weapon? Rapier. It's just a rapier, but it oh, looks okay. very shiny, like he's never used. <laughs> can I uh, use my psionic telepathy, I guess, yeah. to uh, mm-hmm. Benlin and Kirill, and just... And I sent back, shush, Paige, this is the job, we take the job we're given. <laughs> now, as I said, I, I have gone through a few um, bit of embarrassing moments lately, so I can't offer you much up front. However, if we can get the Platinum Mine working again, I have a crew ready and many buyers who are already very interested in the Platinum we can get out of that. I can I am prepared to offer you all a percentage uh, of the take in perpetuity because, I mean, nobody else has been able to reopen this mine, so it will not be easy. Wait, I know this. And I turn to last one. Perpetuity means forever, right? Uh, for the for foreseeable future, so you yeah. can't really. If forever is forever. Perpetuity is. As long as it makes money, you'll get some. I- I mean, it's a better deal than we've gotten from anyone else. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Count, counter-offer. Um, I don't go. Laszlo, I mean... I, was, I, I died uh, last time, and the time b- before, and potentially the time b- b- before, before that one. Well, um, how about... And in- he hurt a book, so... Um, mm, could you let us... hurt it. <laughs> would you... Has there been, as you're reading through this entry, mm-hmm. um, has there been any reference to uh, extra planner activity, to the Shadowfell, to... No, no mention of, of these things. There's been some mention of, of nightmares that people were experiencing, and like I said, people... But people were going missing, and, and that obviously fed into the greater fear of the area. So I think, like I said, I think this is all exaggeration. I think that they had a terrible tragedy with this mine explosion, and, and the people were forever scarred. And so many of them, the people that were missing probably just left in the night and didn't want to tell anybody. I mean, it doesn't say that, but... I would appreciate, while we travel, if you could study the tome that he brought to us, and then you could just stay at the inn. Uh, Okay, I I, I suppose that could happen, yes. Um, I mean, realistically, anything that was dangerous was 70 years ago. That's also also very true. Okay, I'll go and I will stay at the inn. <laughs> There's a lovely town, Mayrin, that we'll stop at. It's at the foothill of the mountain. Um, once we get there, then we'll have to trek up into the mountain. It's not an easy journey. I don't think there will be 
ends there. But you certainly don't have to go into the mine if you don't want to. Baby steps. Sure, yes, I will accompany you all on the adventure. And if nothing else, you have a unique opportunity to correct one of the books. And what happened to this city? Aren't you interested? You seem like a man who is interested in these things. No. <laughs> well, I but guess if they, if they had le- ledgers, maybe, or uh, journals of how the, the the was created, and then maybe uh, if they had stories and folk tales, and yes, oh, okay, I, uh, um, mm-hmm. all right, I'll 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 go. What about all the stuff left behind in the mine? There could be journals and stuff in there, there that could, need to be there, repaired. If, I mean, as, as, as morbid as it is, if there was a journal of someone's last days right. in the mine, that might be, be something that needs to be preserved. So Exactly. Not to mention ledgers of the okay. mine itself. Yes. All right. It's I, been said there's great power in last words. I, I will, I will, I will go. Go. <clears throat> Excellent. Stay by me, good sir. No, I'll keep thank you safe. You. <laughs> well, then I, I believe it's settled. We shall I mean, depart as soon as you're. Excellent. Able? I confront twenty gold pieces for all the things we would need for the journey. It is a ten-day trip by horse there, and then, like I said, three days up into the mountains. So it is a bit of a, a time commitment. Um, but I can front some money for all of the expenses of rations and stuff like that. If, do you guys have horses? Do we rent them here? We have a connection. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he gives you guys... Go ahead. Um, I just... Uh, one ter- terribly sorry. One, one question. What, what book did you give in order to g- gain access to the library? Well, my mother was a very well-known bard. Maybe you've heard of her. Glinda Spring. I, I remember reading the, the book that you brought in, which was very long and <laughs> flowery. Um, yes, she loves her and, adjectives. Yes. Um, I, I don't know if it can be considered a, a work of non-fiction, but... No, no. My mother loved to create elaborate puzzles and and uh, songs that were not always true. No, but the sages here at Candle Keep determined that one story in that in the tome was worthy of inclusion. I won't tell you which. You probably already know. They asked me to find it separately from. <laughs> I I will keep it. I don't think he said that out loud. <laughs> no, I did, 100%. <laughs> he, means, he means it was so important that it needed to be preserved separately. I threw away Last the low. rest. <laughs> well, we won't tell my mother. No. <laughs> let's, let's make sure she never finds out. <laughs> Looks like your glass has gotten a little empty and I pour more wine. <laughs> Excellent, yes. Oh, this is the first time I've felt truly helpful since coming here. <sighs> you bunch, I have good, I, I have a good <laughs> feeling about you all. Uh, okay, so he gives you guys 20 gold. Um, all right, let's say we head out first thing in the morning. If is the rest of the day enough time for you all to be ready? Uh, I, I, I suppose, yes. Yes. I, uh, yeah. I turn to my jack of wares. Uh, are you guys good? <laughs> they just they don't even ask, they just fold that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we'll meet here tomorrow, first light, and we'll head out. Have you ever had kombucha, good sir? <laughs> I'm very interested in that. And this mulberry pie I've heard about? Uh, uh, fair my, good. Uh, and a, uh, a little bush with tiny little branch arm brings a plate of pie. <gasps> <gasps> my goodness. What an adorable thing. Thank you so much, good trub. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. <gasps> and it walks away. <laughs> Boy, I think you're going to be very handy indeed. I mean, if it's plant related. <laughs> well, it might be. <laughs> so, what is that like me feeding my hair? Or is it more taking my finger off and feeding it? To be hair? honest, 
perfectly. Um, flowers and fruit are the reproductive system of plants. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're eating his children. Well. I I'm miss balls. I need to, <laughs> I, I need to go, go get ready. <laughs> I don't understand what the big deal is. The seeds pass through your digestive system and that's how they give birth. It's part of the system. That's why they grow it. So it's all right? He wants you to eat it. (laughs) Fair good goes, yeah. Somehow that makes me more uncomfortable. (laughs) Well, you know, nothing's perfect. I will awaken a cherry bush next time. Is that better? Just point of order, because I'm curious. What form do you have the jackal wears take when you are working? Human? Yeah. Okay. You, can you imagine the hair and the food otherwise? What <laughs> benefit would there be? Um, I'd like to take the rest of the, today uh, just reading through the book. Like anything you can glean from, sure. like that he might have missed or anything. Yeah, it's a pretty slim tome. Pretty Kept in pretty good condition. Um, when he said it, it, it is like a penny dreadful and that it is written very like trying to invoke fear um, and kind of grandiose in some of the language. Um, it does reiterate that, yeah, 80 years ago, Vermillion kind of opened up because of the platinum mine, but then 70, you know, 10 years after it opened up, there was this huge explosion. Um, 60 people underneath, they saved some, but only 16 ultimately came out. Um, it names three specific villagers, Le Duvezin, who is the mayor, um, Tormin, who is a smith, and his wife, Blennis. Um, and then, yeah, it reiterates that after the 16 came out alive, gradually they started disappearing. So one, two a night, then maybe a few days would go by and nobody would disappear. Um, and so at, they all disappeared and then other villagers just started leaving in fear. Um, and then eventually the, the town just broke down because everybody left. Does it name the six survivors? It does not. Okay. And yeah, they, they talked about a lot of precautions. They tried to help. People would travel in groups and um, it would it would just take mere seconds of someone being out of sight for them to disappear. Um, and it's now allegedly deserted. And then like any word of like how many people disappeared or how many people were able to flee the town? So ultimately we know at least 16 disappeared because all of the people that survived and then, no, it doesn't specifically say how many more, but enough to scare the rest of the town to leave. Okay, so you guys can all get ready. Just the rest of the day to get ready. And then we are at the following morning. Mm -hmm. Perseverus is there, bright and early, ready to go. Who is in there first? Who comes? Or if you guys are ready or not, tell me what you're doing. Is this the? Um, is he at the inn next door? Like, yeah, he was where staying. Are we meeting him? He was staying at the at the inn next door, but he had said like, "I'll meet you here first light, and we'll go." I mean, I live here, so I guess I would be here first. Sure. <laughs> I'm instructing Fairgood on how to take care of his brothers and sisters while I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling that bush how to take care of the bushes? Yes. Yeah, is that strange to you? Fairgood says. Oh, I've just never seen a live bush. It's very interesting. How how detailed of instructions can you give it? I mean, it's it's a living. He can understand you. Oh. You oh. can ask him. <laughs> so if I said to you, Bush. My name is Fairgood. <laughs> so if I said to you, Fairgood, <laughs> to travel and give someone a message, you'd be able to travel and, and relay. Wow. Maybe I'll have you teach me how to do this. Honestly, though, journey. with you, I might tell you to shove it up your root system. Wow. So someone has a bit of an attitude, I see. <laughs> he kind of like walks up. Granted, I was a bit rude. I, I apologize. It's fine. He's a teenager. <laughs> I'll walk in next, I guess. And Excellent. I'm, I'm glad we didn't lose you. I'll see the two. You know. Fair good. Just a uh, secret uh, aside to you goes, he's being a real ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the John Travolta like, he's being a, I go? <laughs> he's being a real root shoot, is what he would say. <laughs> I, I, am, I, am I early? Should I wait? No, no, no. Wait come in. Or, oh. You can help me pack lunches. I'll wait outside. 
<clears throat> Laszlo. I uh, know. As you're about outside. to go out the door, Bo just pats you on the shoulder and lets you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Bo. Uh, <clears throat> Kind of like wipe off my shoulder. Oh. And I poke out. Paige's hammock on the ceiling. Help me pack lunches. <laughs> Take my head over. Mm, okay. <laughs> I guess I will enter last, um, looking a little bit worse for wear from uh, a little sleep deprivation, but pulled together and straightening up my jacket as I come into the room. <laughs> be good today, Carol, as always. Oh, thank you. Sorry, just haven't had coffee yet. We'll be, uh, I think, tip top and ready to go. Excellent. Uh, as Bo was walking in, I'll kind of like see if I can usher him aside and say, I, <clears throat> I don't, I'm not good with, with people, but I am good with books mm-hmm. and based on what he submitted, I don't trust him. Well, we need to give him a chance. Uh, mm, I'm not <clears throat> saying yeah, that mm-hmm. you're wrong, but we need to at least give him a chance first. I, 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 I suppose that's... But I'll true. keep an eye out. Okay. I promise. Mm-hmm. If... And then I'll just, like, pat your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> With having, like been in regular like um correspondence with my family had anything come up about him and like his fall from grace um yeah looking back in your letters they may have mentioned just kind of like jokingly that he was caught in a bit of a a sticky situation where he was conned um by someone he lost most of his money um but they were kind of like like (laughs) It was a matter of time before that. <laughs> like, isn't that funny? <laughs> Still is up to it again. <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, your history with him is good. He's okay. never been like a man who lied to you or Just family or anything. Sort of a blowhard a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. All right. I'm ready. How do we all feel? The weather is dreadful. Ugh. I, 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 I enjoy. The rain to wake up in the morning. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> so. I say a very long goodbye to my cat, Pumpkin, Aww. who we got from the mansion. Nice. Uh, also leaving him instructions like I did the Awakened Shrub, but uh, he's just a cat. Would you like me to, to translate? Can you actually speak to cats? I don't actually think so. It's because I fun. can actually do that, because I can't speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin looks at you skeptically. (laughs) I don't think I can, actually. Oh, Oh, no. Eventually, this tavern is just going to be filled with pets. It's going to be a zoo. (laughs) Eventually, I will get the Awaken spell. (laughs) And then our entire staff will be animals. (laughs) Excellent. All right, so you guys hit the road. You're all on horses, or how are you guys traveling? Uh, before we did a wagon, so I, I would yeah. prefer to be on a wagon because I don't like to ride animals, but and it makes it easier to wagon for you. <laughs> makes it easier to multitask if you have your you know, 450 pounds. fables to ride. <laughs> There's some big horses out there. <laughs> I um, can see a rhino, maybe. <laughs> That would be so cool. When do I get summon's deed? Uh, Pers- Rhino's greater summon's deed. <laughs> Perseverus has a very fancy looking horse um, with like little ties in its mane and it's pure white, which is not going to last. <laughs> I, funny. Would, I would <laughs> like to ask his horse. Um, so, uh, so it, do you think there's any reason we shouldn't trust him? Has he said anything about screwing over the adventuring party that he's going to go get? <coughs> Seems like he would talk to himself a lot. <laughs> he does. <laughs> but he's just really been desperate to find somebody to help him. Mm. I don't know why he'd screw you over. Well, I appreciate your input. I'm Bendlin, by the way. Awesome, I'm blue. He calls me something like Silver Speed, but I'm blue. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Blue. It's a pleasure to meet you too. 
What does this sound like to the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> and like me putting my hands here so I can do the ear movements. <laughs> um, so anything interesting? Uh, his name is Blue, uh, and uh, he Blue. says... His he name said, is Silver Speed, and he's the fastest speed in the silver. I switched to a language that only means speed. His name is Blue. <laughs> I feel like I heard him say Blue again. <laughs> and then I go like this to you, like subtly. Do you want me to roll sleight of hand? No, you can. I mean, he doesn't care that much. Uh, and then telepathically, I'll tell everyone. Blue says that uh, while they've been traveling, he's been super desperate to find somebody to help him take this platinum mine, but he doesn't seem to be any other uh, objectives. Desperation might be bad, though. If he gets too desperate. My worry is that he might have undersold the danger of the mission. Ooh, good point. My worry is that he might have been taken in again. You think the Platinum Mine doesn't exist? I am not saying that. I think that based on the book, it probably does. We should make performance rolls to see, like, we're trying to double talk. So, like, <laughs> yeah. we're having a normal, casual conversation while also telepathically talking. <laughs> He's adjusting as many buckles. So. Um, <laughs> many buckles. <laughs> Once we're on the road, um, I would ask, uh, uh, Perseverus, where exactly did you find out about this mine from? It seems like quite the steel. Well, to be quite honest, I had a colleague who attempted to take to reopen the mine not too long ago, but uh, he disappeared. I'm sh- he was an idiot, though. I'm sure marauders or something took him before he even reached the mine. But he told me he was going. So there's marauders <laughs> in the region. I mean, I don't. I mean, marauders are everywhere, aren't they? Are they not? <laughs> Can I do an insight? Because sure. I think he just said he and she interchangeably multiple times. Oh, I don't. I don't that, that might have just been. That wasn't, yeah. That wasn't okay. me trying to do that. But <laughs> you can still roll inside if you'd like. I, I guess I should have stats on him. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Okay, so, so what are you trying to insight about? What are you saying? If he's lying. No, I all of that seemed genuine. But, Does, yeah, he did have a friend who told him about it and who also went missing. With that insight, do we think that he's capable of really actually being that duplicitous at all? He seems kind of dumb. I think that's a probably an accurate assessment. He's just a little bit dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From family money. <laughs> so. You'll excuse us if we're a little hesitant as we approach. Um, our caution is high after some recent experiences. Uh, dealing with the undead and with... um, Oh, dreadful. Yes, it was very unpleasant, uh, and we just want to ensure that we don't end up in similar straits. Undead? No, we wouldn't want that, we wouldn't want that. Uh, There haven't been any reports of something like that, I, I don't think. I haven't heard any of that nature. I'm sorry to hear that you have had a bit of bad luck. But you're all whole and happy and healthy. Mm. Uh, uh, Benlin, while we travel, I would like to uh, hold out my arm and summon a uh, owl made out of flower petals and have that patrol the oh, so it can see ahead of us. Okay. And what's the owl looking for? Just, like uh, just looking for people approaching or anything like that. So. Is that a familiar? Yeah. It's not a true familiar. Um, so... Tasha's Guide to Everything adds an optional class feature for druids where you can use your wild shapes to summon a familiar. Uh, and it is a fey creature, so that's why I decided that's it's cool. made out of flower petals. Uh, it only lasts for an hour, but because we're only writing, uh, I can short rest, get it back, use it again, short rest, get it back, use it again. So while we're traveling, he's watching out for anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay, so let's roll perception for him for the first day. That's a nat 20. I don't know what owls have. Do you know? No, I... I, Oh, no, I used to know. (laughs) What what did Philip have? Um, Uh, That is a plus three to perception. So, 23. Excellent. (laughs) She spies a lot of rodents running around, um, but no, no figures. Like I said, it's really rainy and stormy, so it's actually... Her vision is a little bit impaired by that. 
Um, but nothing has nothing jumps out at you on the first day, and she doesn't notice anything on that first day. Also, just wanted to use that class feature. I was trying to think of a reason to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, so the first night you guys make make okay time, um, being that it's you know really stormy. The storm doesn't let up much as you travel further away from the coast. Um, first night, if you guys tell me what you're doing for that first night rest. Uh, for the first night rest, I will cook for everyone. Um, so, uh, and then I tell everyone, eventually we're going to be good bearing it. So enjoy these first meals. <laughs> <laughs> so the humidity is hell on instruments. So I'll take extra time to tune. But you have the magic one. The instrument of illusion would be immune to any damage. It's, it's really, you, you just, you have to be able to hear it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does he want to keep watch? I don't think my perception is very good. I can take a second. I'll, I'll try my hand at a watch. Um, whoever plus whoever three. will have me. It's up to you. It's your choice. Yes, F. Either of us would be happy to. Benley goes, I made dinner. I'll, <laughs> and then goes to sleep. <laughs> I'll do first for first watch, Bo, if that's, yep. if that's okay. Yep. I can help the second watch. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Want to do perception? Last one. Also, I recently figured out the math, of the math of watches, and you would have to sleep for 12 hours to actually have four watches. Oh, sure. Mm. Let's just hand-wave that. Well, no, it would be hand-waveable, but like, I was just thinking about it. Oh, I got nine. <laughs> We're so perceptive. So, yeah. you don't notice anything. <laughs> taught you so well. Mm-hmm. Uh, second watch, Pagey. Mm-hmm. So is it is it heavy on your back to have it always... There or uh, when I hold a lot of books in my bag, it's just it always it pulls at my shoulder. I've never noticed whether it's heavy or not. It's just kind of there. I mean, when I like strap stuff to it, it gets heavy, mm-hmm. but it's just by itself. And it's not really can't tell. What if that's Do a real question? <laughs> I like attempt to reach around and like polish it. I'm mm-hmm. like no. <laughs> Is there like a rough patch down the center from where the No. I figure that's why I'm like, I feel like that's maybe my connection with Naya. She helps me polish my shell. Of course. So your shell's looking ragged. Yeah. Well, I guess the, the bath works are still there. Yeah. So. It's just not as good as she does. Paige? She's got the touch. I will press the digitate what I can. Oh, <laughs> shell. <laughs> Nine, five. <laughs> what are we <laughs> doing today? Me either. Maybe I should have taken a watch. <laughs> <laughs> He's, there's a, mm. there's a bright. Mm. I'm just getting stuck <laughs> at the beginning. Nothing sounds quite right in the rain. There is a map at the back of the book. I forgot to mention that a map leading to that is easily lays out the the path. So the. The road or whatever. And then how long uh, did, it, did you say it would take us to get there? Ten days to get there and okay. then three days up the mountain. Okay, so a couple more days. We'll just kind of fast forward. A couple more days go by. Um, you guys are making, again, okay time. Um, I haven't seen too many travelers on the way. I would say like the seventh. Let's go to the seventh night. Um, you guys are in for it's been a particularly difficult day and that one of the horses... Um, was struggling with its, <laughs> it was struggling, so it was not moving as fast. Was it blue? Well, it was blue, yes. He's oh. not used to these long journeys. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so do we want to do watch again? Yeah, I think I, I make blue something special. Um, okay. I think I want to get into a groove of doing watch with Bo All right. and asking him just oddball questions the whole Let's night. Do it. I love it. Or two reptile boys. That's a 13. 17. Well, I don't know if right. dragons are considered reptiles or not. Excuse me, boys. I say yes. The DM say yes. Okay, so um, on your guys' watch, uh, a couple hours in, Bo, you think you hear talking, people whispering to each other? 
like uh, maybe you know a couple like maybe you guys are on the edge of some trees and so maybe kind of in the trees a little bit you're here maybe is that someone talking? Wes, what? Do you hear talking? Listen, I hear you talking. No, not me talking. Like people around. Do you hear people talking? <laughs> Um, can I try to like listen in? Well, I think she was saying what you heard. Yeah, I was, I was oh. just kind of imitating what, what the sounds you'd be hearing. Um, as you guys grow quiet, um, so if you, okay, you guys grow quiet, so you're here, <laughs> and then we'll do this, and then, <laughs> oh, and then they stop, this talking stops. Um, shit. How close does it sound? Yeah. I'm like... Maybe like 20 feet into the woods. Do oh, I have... Is that hearable though? 20 feet? I'll see. We're saying 20 feet. <laughs> and like, do we know a general direction? Uh, yeah, you can kind of sense it's like into the woods a little bit. They're hearing that. Um... Hello? Someone there? <clears throat> um... I'm going to pick up a rock off the ground and toss it towards where I think it was coming from. Not hard. I'm just going to, like, toss, you know. <gasps> you hear, like, a, <gasps> and then... Do I have to put these babies out here again? I guess. Um. <clears throat> I guess those of us not on watch would be in the tents. Mm. And then another voice is like, oh, that's not a good, uh, that's not good strategy. <laughs> oh, what do we do? Um, watch yourself, like. Not good, especially when I'm frightened. Not good, oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, I want to try in an intimidating voice. So I'll use the intimidation if possible. Okay. Whoever's there, show yourself. Okay. Or else. Go ahead and roll that. Oh, it's a six. Oh, I thought that was a one. Oh, it's a one. Okay. So not one plus five is six. <laughs> so then you hear <laughs> crazy laughter. <laughs> Dragon's breath. <laughs> I don't even know where they are. They're in this direction, <laughs> about 20 feet, dragon's breast. <laughs> no, no. Roll uh, I guess roll initiative. Oh, you get that off and then we'll roll initiative. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, breath weapon is a, I believe, a dex saving throw. Yeah, Sorry. dex saving throw. From okay, so for whatever they are. Yeah. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Do you want us to roll initiative even though we're asleep? <laughs> Because I'm assuming they're going to wake you up. Um, so I have a 17 on that dex. Stereotail. He had a save. <laughs> <makes it. laughs> uh, so they take... It just did time to die. Four lightning damage cut in half. So two lightning damage. I'm just a scared Minus little guy. Two. Yes, it worked. <laughs> okay. All right. So everybody roll an issue. Let me roll an issue for and these then guys. I also don't have access to these ones either. Okay. So whenever you get a chance. <laughs> so, oh, the you tokens. have to do that every time? Uh, for yeah. now. You have yeah. to change it in the settings to make it always, but. Okay, so Pablo, why are you not working? <laughs> do I need to go to DM no. layer? Where am I? GM access to I might. Uh, you have to go to token sure. layer probably. And I can just program the yes. tokens. <laughs> In between combat turns. Do, 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 mark. I think she's doing it now. So. I know I'm just gonna do it permanently. Do, 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 mark. <laughs> do, that's do, my do, theme song. Do, 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 in case mark. anyone is wondering, that's my theme song. We should we should we, mark. Hey, we we should be careful because we can only use seven seconds. <laughs> if it's Mark's theme song. Yeah, I will charge you. <laughs> okay, I think that's everybody. Okay. Okay, so I still need to roll initiative for these guys. Yeah. 
guys. Hold on. Let me see here. I don't even want to talk about mine. It can't be worse than mine. <laughs> uh, 11. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be oh, a minute. Kirill got a five. Seven tickets. <laughs> that was my drum diddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It sounded a lot like uh, that Beach Boys song. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who, okay. Kirill, what did you get? Five. Five. Yeah. And page? Seven. What? Um, well, to be honest, we are like asleep. Yeah. <laughs> it would be um, weird if we were like 22, just like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bo, what did you get? 17. 16, sorry. Sixteen. Oh, and Laszlo. Eleven. That. Which one of you guys has guard turns the better decks? You and Benlin both got eleven. Oh, oh yeah. I assure you, it's zero. not Benlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm also zero. You can go first, though. I'm asleep again, okay. so it works. <laughs> okay. I did these numbers wrong. Oh, I did these numbers one to down to twenty. That's not gonna help me. Okay, so you get your dragon's breath off. You already did that. So as you um, let that loose, the laughing chokes a little, <coughs> and then he starts laughing again. And then a uh, familiar were rat steps forward in towards you, laughing. <laughs> You thought you'd never see Mashika again, but you were wrong. <laughs> and now I am here to get your wares. <laughs> the were rat that you guys encounter traveling to, to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> when we have Baldur's Gate. Remember he when with the Jackal Wares episode he I wasn't there for Oh yeah, oh, you were there, with on the road. Yeah. I will say in character. I, I don't know a Mashika. You'll know me now! And he has a crossbow belt mm -hmm. and he fires at you since I guess you sent that thing okay. at him. So now I need to go to this character sheet. Hand crossbow roll. And he got a 14. It's <laughs> okay. And that does. I can do the damage in here too, but right? Oh, no. shit. What? No, what do I do? No. Um, I'll so, just five damage. <laughs> I was just saying, because usually it just shows you the damage underneath the attack. It does. I okay. see that now. <laughs> five damage. It's five. <laughs> yeah, it's five damage. Um, he can do two attacks, so he's going to go ahead and attack again. The second one's an 11, so two. Yep. <sighs> and that's also five damage. Got it. Then. Okay. All right. Hey, hey. I'm good. Okay. I will get your wares. So, next up is Bo. Um, Bo is going to run past Laszlo up to Ten. Mr. Mashika, or Miss Mashika. They, I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out. He's, as he's doing that, he's going to scream, wake up. But I'm not using like an action to try to do anything. I'm just screaming, wake up. So I don't know if it does anything to anyone. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to swing... My long sword one handed. Uh, 12. Um, okay, so I gotta go and look at what his AC is, which is 12. So you meet it. <laughs> that is 10 damage. I'll take it. Minus 10. Okay. You didn't come with That's minions? everything? Mm -hmm. There's oh, one. He's got he, some enemies. He brought one dude? <laughs> um, uh, next, is that all for you? Yep. Okay, so the next up is the one dude. <laughs> he's gonna come up to Bo. He sees that guy. Um, he, this is just a kind of a general um, warrior looking fella. He's uh, 
Let's go with he is. What's a big race? Uh, half orc. Half orc. He's a half orc warrior looking dude. Uh, Ooh, so or, he uh, takes. Goliath. 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 He attacks with his mace, 11. And second attack is a 13. To hit me? Just to hit you. Oh, oh, no. That's your in front of That's your in front of All right. No, go, no dice on that. He he does that, and then he goes, no offense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> None taken. <laughs> and then I'm quite all right, that's the end of his turn. <laughs> so then we have Ben Lynn. Uh, am I asleep? You sure are. And you probably heard him yell, wake up. Okay, so does that wake me? <sighs> yeah, I would say it's not like it's like a loud night, so you'd hear that, I think. Unless you're a heavy sleeper in particular. I mean, I am an earth chinasi. He so. does sleep like a rock. Why don't you guys roll? Why don't you nice. roll, just roll, roll d20s, and as long as yours is higher than his. Seven. Okay. Five. 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 I'm asleep. You didn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is going to be Lazlo. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Hopefully nobody needs healing. Oh, <laughs> actually, okay, I will... <laughs> um, I will gust of wind straight back towards the camp and hopefully wake these fuckers up. <laughs> um, gust the fire into the tents to set them on fire? Yeah, whatever works, bro. Um, and then uh, I believe that's my action, so I, I'll hex... This one as my bonus action. Okay. What does your hex look like? Have you ever talked about that? We haven't talked about it, have we? Um, Summer! But no, you can't do that. <laughs> I, <That's her. laughs> I like pointing at him or them, and uh, they just kind of feel like tentacles around them, just like kind of caressing them or like hugging them. Uh, no like actual like visual component to it. What, three, what is this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is that it? That's it. Yeah, that's all I can do. All right, Mr. Page. You are also asleep, I guess. If, why don't you roll the twenty? Is 20? Gust of Wind? Oh, the Gust of Wind. Yeah, let's say that for sure. We'll nope. I mean, especially stop. you. Like, you're yeah. primed, I think, to wake up. Gust of Wind and Hex. All right. I think Oh, I can. You're right. So I didn't Hex him. What? Yeah. Because I'm not allowed to do two spells. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed. But Hex, you can do Hex with a cantrip. Was Gusto win a cantrip? No. Uh, hex is a first level spell. No, she's saying you can Hex if, and a if, cantrip. Oh, and a cantrip. Nice. I, don't have a, I don't have a bonus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is right here, 30 feet away. I think it is. You only have 30 feet movement? Let me mm-hmm. see. I thought Tabaxi's had crazy movement. Uh, I can double my movement. This is 30 feet away. That's 30 feet. Um, He's a tabaxi, so if he wants to go 35 feet, he can. (laughs) My bonus action to dash. Oh, you're also a rogue. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, then you still have your actual action. Yeah. Well, shit. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go behind this guy. Flanky flank flank. Flankity flank. What was that, Pat? How rude. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to stab with my psionic. Wait, stab, stab. <laughs> I see you haven't learned any manners since last time, Mashika. <laughs> manners are for me! <laughs> uh, so the first one is at advantage, right? Both are. Oh, for that, yeah, for the flanking, for Shoa. But your second attack, you used your bonus action, so. I did use my bonus action. Uh, so, dirty 20. Nice. That'll hit. And then I roll a d6 plus 3, and I get my sneak attack damage. Okay. Uh, so that's four. Here we are. Sad. Sad boy. Oh, one's across the board. <laughs> Sad sneak attack noises. Oh. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen when a cat like sees a bird and they do that like chirping thing? That's what I'm doing as I... <laughs> Very intimidating. <laughs> How much damage is that? That's, uh, what was it? Three. Six. Excellent. Six is better than not. You better not have rabies. 
the old hat work says. I mean, How he stabbed dare you. He stabbed you. He didn't bite you. Did you get rained with something big. I <laughs> That was really rude. <laughs> okay, so then from out of the trees oh. comes a streak of cobalt blue force magic right at your bow, and it is a magic missile. And me? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's only one magic missile, four. though. It's usually three. Oh, is it? Let me check it. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, real. <laughs> three. Gotta help my boy. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna try and figure that out. It's just one, and it does four damage. <laughs> okay. All right, that brings us to Kirill. As the gust of wind flaps open my tent, uh, I will wipe the sleep out of my eyes and, oh, God, not you again. Uh, and I will uh, crossbow him from where I am. I'll crossbow Mashika. Uh, so. If you have a bonus action, can you kick me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I you do. don't think the wind would wake you up? No, I'm a Janasi. <laughs> that is a 17 to hit. That'll do it. For uh, seven damage. Ooh. Dice are so much prettier than me. They have little tiny things. I can't read them all the time. <laughs> These are my cool. Oh, okay. Those are cool shapes. You? I use them for space games. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay. And I'm going to use my bonus action to kick Benlin awake. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Fuck! What? <laughs> Waving the crossbow. <laughs> oh, I knew I hated you lot so much. Mashika says he steps over here and takes a bite at Bo. Oh, shoot! That would have been a bonus action. Damn. It. Okay, I forgot. You want to do it? Okay. No. I'm good, I'm good. Well, he woke me as well as action. Should bat the bite, not bat, the bite at 13. No, ma'am. And then short sword, I guess, little swingy, 15. No, ma'am. All right, doing nothing. Is there a con save with that bite? Oh, there might be. <laughs> but I didn't bite him because I didn't get him. Hmm. So. Yeah, it's one if you hit, I think. Well, and plus you're immune to disease anyway. I don't see what it says about them. Anyway, all right. Um, so that will take us to Bo. Okay. Um, which one? I'm going to do the guy in between Bo, or, uh, Paige and I. Okay. We're going to attack. That's the image. Um, that's in Fifteen? To hit? Oh. Yeah. That'll do it. Okay. Alright, I'm getting angry now because people keep popping out, so we're going to smite. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is the perfect time because we're going to sleep after this. <laughs> <laughs> One would hope. <laughs> Sure, you don't want to just give me your wares? We'll be on not, our way. Does he not understand that we don't have wares? I <laughs> <laughs> just think the more you fight him on it, the more you must have. <laughs> That's 15 damage. 15. Yowza! He's not looking good. <clears throat> right. Okay, uh, everything for you, Bo? Okay, the thug is next. He will take two mace attacks on you. And that's going to be a 19 and a 10. Oh. Wow. This is Ooh. not working well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I don't even want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so squishy. That's okay. what I'm here for. <laughs> He's got me beat by one. I'm coming so for you, squishy. though. I'm here. <laughs> He seems like his heart isn't in it. Uh, oh my god, my PC's running low. Who? Um, the thug. So you, he tried to hit you again, twice didn't make it. So it seems like maybe his heart's not in it. He seems kind of like he has some admiration for you. 
Um, okay, so let me get this figured out. It looks like this is half in one. Does that make sense? <laughs> like it's in two different plugs. Oh, I think it is in two different plugs. <laughs> what is this running to? I'm not sure. What is this running to? What is everything running to? I think this one's for the monitor. Okay. This. That was no. the computer. Yeah. That was the TV. No, it was the TV. Oh, it was the TV. Okay. It was plugged half in one, half in another one. That's and it was still good. working. That's so weird. That's. Is that how it's supposed to work? No. <laughs> not at all. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we um, should be able to just turn the TV back on. <laughs> that was the bug. Sorry. Um, ben is next. <coughs> all right. Benlin is next? Yes. <coughs> it's half my movement speed to stand up, right? From sleeping. Yes. Yep. All right, so that sounds, that makes sense. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to bonus action, pull my hammer out of the ground, grumpily. Ooh. Uh, shillelagh. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, move 15 feet closer. And while I move that 15 feet, um, plants and vines and fungus and ferns start to grow all over my armor. And this palpable cloud of... Uh, spores starts emanating from me and with a hand gesture you can see the spores actually like moving at my uh, discretion as I activate my symbiotic entity uh, but that's my action my bonus action and my movement so <laughs> that's my turn <laughs> so that will bring us to Laszlo I do um, get 8 temp HP though I will hex um the rat guy, uh, and then I will Eldritch Blast. Oh my god. Last though, I don't think has ever hit with Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Sad boy. It's, it's too bad you can't range flank. Right? <laughs> um, that is a 10. Solid yep. 10. Cool. Goes white. Um, I will end my turn. But he's hexed, so it feels real creeped out. Ugh. You lot are so disgusting. <laughs> okay, um, so after Vaslo, we got Paige. Sweet. I'm going to swing with the psychic daggers. Yeah. Who are you aiming at? Uh, the thug in front of me. That makes sense. With advantage, just flanking. Sweet. Uh, 23. To it. Yes. And then with sneak attack damage, saved it. Uh, Much better than last time. That's 11 from the first attack. He's down. Woo! Yeah! I guess I could just delete him now. At that, Mashika looks outraged and. Where did that magic missile come from? Yells, are you going to do something or what? <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the mystery figure in the trees, who is going to... <laughs> Sorry, let me look real quick what he wants to do. Is he, is he on the screen or are we just not seeing no, him? No, you haven't seen him. Oh, yet, okay. So <laughs> him um, is there a way... Oh, yes, there is. Sorry. Oh, man, that's so much to read. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> Give me just one second to look at his spells. Do, 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 do. It's probably for the best that uh, Bo keeps getting bitten by the were creature as he's immune to disease. The rest mm -hmm. of us are not. Okay, so. Not the were raven. <laughs> you see kind of a cloud of mist. Um, come out of the trees and settle around Bo's head. And um, Bo probably needs to make a save of some kind. So let me see here. Can we see where it came from or it just appeared? You, it's, it came from where the, where the magic missile came from, that same general area, just, just kind of in the darkness of the trees. Okay. Uh, a wisdom save is what you're going to be doing. Oh, no. It should be okay. No, I did, I'm trying to 
think if I know what this is or not. 21. Okay, no. I think you just don't. You just shake it off. You don't ask paladins to make saves. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, well, then you guys will be, wait till I get my aura, and then you guys will be even better, too. Level six. That's the best level of paladin. Or one of the best. No, it's when you get fine greater steed. That's the best level. Because at level six, you guys will get plus six all of your... Well, it's pure charisma mod. So I'm sorry, plus three to your saves. Okay, so that's... Like 10 feet. Yeah. Um, okay, so you kind of get the sense of, like, wanting to, like, like someone's trying to tell you to lay down your weapon, but you're like, I don't want to do that. No, nah, bro. So you shake that right off. And that's going to take us to Kirill. <laughs> Mashika, for the last time, we still do not carry wares, and I will shoot off another crossbow bolt at him, and I'll move over here towards the bridge to be a little closer for the shot. Uh, and that is going to be a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, and that will be uh, eight damage this time. Okay. And then... Ah! I'll use my bonus action to grant inspiration to Bo, because you're right in the middle of everything. (laughs) Bo, I believe in you. Please convince him for once and for all that there are no wares. (laughs) So pretty. I do not like being woken up. I really hate you all. And he tries to run away. So if you'd like to take your attack of opportunity, you can do that. Damn it, yeah. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> going to <Fine>. calm down. <laughs> Leave him alone so we can come back and torment y'all later. Ah, uh, twenty-one to hit. Yeah, I mean, that'll do. It could his children could come and like seek vengeance on us. Sure. <laughs> this version was for that roll, right? Yeah, whatever you wanted to use it and for. I mean, I can't use it for damage, can I? No. That would be badass. <coughs> I think um, the battle bards can. I think for my own. Mm-hmm. Twelve. 14. Yeah, and as he's trying to run away, he falls down dead. (laughs) You hear some rustling in the trees and then the sound of someone running away. (laughs) Would you like to pursue? Is it my turn? Oh, no, it's not. Hold on. Okay, because I have something I can- Actually, it's your turn. Your turn is after Mashika's. So it's my turn now? Actually, so I guess the running away can't happen yet. All right, so yeah, it's your turn. Okay. So I'm just gonna channel divinity. Um, come fight me, you coward! And as a bonus action, each creature of my choice does not say that I have to be able to see them within 30 feet. Must make a wisdom saving throw, or it can't willingly move more than 30 feet away from me. Oh damn! Let's try that wisdom. Come on. 13. Yeah. Oh, you make it. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, that was bonus action. So that was an actual action. Can I... I mean, we could just let him go. No. Oh. <laughs> um, I think we've done this before where it was, you can try to cast the spell at it at disadvantage if you don't know where it's at. Yeah. Is that cool? I would say that makes sense. Okay, yeah. I'm not told the dead. Told, told, told the dead. Well, told the dead is a save. It is a dead. It is a save. save. Oh, cool. Uh, but how huh? do we do that since... Well, that means you have to be able to see... Okay, then I'll do... Hmm. All right. I mean, it just gets away. Or I'll run towards where I think it if, is. If you want to just pick a spot, and if, like, Battleship, if you're right, you might be right, or you can run in. That's fine, too. But... So I thought it came from somewhere in here. Um, let me point... Is that correct? Yes. Um, I don't want to... Oh, God, that I don't want to do it on the exact area, because then you'll know. Um, I'll can just... I draw a box? Let me see here. I'll take what you give me. If you feel like it. You don't have to. It's totally can up to you. Can you see that? No. We might be on the wrong layer. Um, is there... How do I do a box? If, is there a... There's the little paintbrush, and then there's, like, a box. Draw shape. Just so make sure you're on the right layer. Okay, so it's kind of coming from that area. Does that... Yeah, you guys can see that. Oh, Lord. So pick somewhere in there. We can narrow it down just a little bit. But. There. There. Yeah. Okay, no, that does not hit. Okay. Okay. 
this shape. How do I do that? Just click on it and then delete. I click on the line. Or you can go back to the paintbrush. You can also go back to the paintbrush and do clear all drawings. Okay, there we go. Clear. Okay. So, Bo just went. You good? Yep. So, then the thug's dead. Benlin! I mean, the guy got away, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to grumpily uh, drop everything I just so my hammer falls to pieces in the ground, my spores all settle on the ground and go, ugh, and then just go back to my tent. <laughs> Laszlo? We're just gonna run through until the mage's turn and he's gonna run away, so... <laughs> Might as well try a disadvantage. Uh, do, last. do I... I, I think if he's trying to leave, we should let him bo bow. And then I'll just kind of, like, yeah. step back from the situation. Okay. Paige? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to step back and start walking back towards the tent. Okay. You hear a whisper, thank you, and then <laughs> they run away. <laughs> uh, okay. You are free to go back to your rest <laughs> or whatever you were doing. You said that Ben Lynn snores like two pieces of concrete being rubbed together. <laughs> <laughs> if we rest, we get a forest still? So, yeah. Well, because you guys are first watch, so that would make sense. It's second watch that has to happen. <laughs> uh, that whole time, Perseverus was just kind of watching through like a crack in his tent, and he's going to pretend he was sleeping the whole time. Even though I custom winded him. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Just well, strange, like I did feel a, a, a nice gust of wind at some point. I just, I just assumed just like it was the storm. Like, beating his tent, like, wake up, you mother. <laughs> <laughs> There was an attack? My, you guys are so brave. You just have gotten rid of them quite quickly. Mm -hmm. well, it was a repeat offender, but I guess he will not be a repeat offender again. You're starting to get rivals. How interesting. Well, starting and finishing, he's not alive anymore, unfortunately, but you do what you must, I suppose. Okay. All right, the rest of the journey goes pretty well. Um, the rains have started to abate a little bit, so it's still mostly overcast, pretty drizzly, but um, a lot less <coughs> thunderstorms now. Um, you guys arrive at the small town of Mayrin. It's at the foothills of the mountain you're about to kind of go up into. Um, so, any, what would you guys like to do in Mayrin? Do we all have climbers kits, just in case? Um, I believe I do. I don't think I do. Yeah, I have one. I do not. Okay, I would definitely like to buy, buy a climbers kit then. If we're going to be going into the mountains. Okay. Uh, Mayrin has a great open air market. It's got many vendors selling food and um, clothing and stuff like that. You do find a small vendor that is selling mountain climbing gear, stuff to, you know, travel up the mountain. He, it's really small. He doesn't have a whole lot of stuff because not a whole lot of people want to climb this mountain. Uh, unrelated to that, uh, using my chef feet, uh, Bo and Paige, you guys get two temporary HP every time I make breakfast, so. Nice. Mm. That's fun. <laughs> uh, what is the cost for, do we know what the cost is for a climber's kit? I don't remember. It's between hand. 25 and 50 gold pieces. He's <laughs> charging 35. We'll okay. Climber's kit is 25, yeah, so 35. Do people need help with that? I mean, I haven't spent mine yet, so that I should be okay. Uh, me, I mean, if we are going into a mine, uh, it'd be uh, helpful to try to get out, I, I guess. You guys are going up into the mine? That's what the, the kits are for, to help us. Uh, 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 well, I, I yes. just hoped you were buying to maybe go to some other mountain to climb it. Oh, no, uh, we are off to see the depths of these platinum hills. Well, it would be greatly profitable if someone could open the mine again. Man, Lucas talks about that all the time, how he doesn't want the mine to be open again. Oh. Interesting. 
Oh, Lucas. He's uh, he's the owner of the Board Weasel Tavern. He used to live up there. The Board Weasel Tavern. Weasel. Do you Tavern. know what the Board Weasel's Tavern's uh, specialty is? Yes, he makes a delicious fish stew surprise. Fish surprise stew. Oh, I don't want to stay at a tavern. Salty that fish has... surprise. That's <laughs> I don't want to stay at a tavern that has a surprise meal. Where do you get fish from? Are Is we near the ocean? <laughs> I guess freshwater fish. What, mm. what do I look like? A fishmonger? Are you not? <laughs> no, I sell climbers. <laughs> <laughs> Is Lucas in the book at all? He is. Okay. Did you want to see? <laughs> <laughs> you can see no, no, no. I meant in, in our, the book that Laszlo has. Like, it oh. doesn't mention Lucas. No. Okay. Just uh, the three named people are uh, Mayor DeVezin, Tormund, and Blennis. Okay. Well, it seems like we know who we need to talk to first. Yeah, I wonder why he doesn't want it to open up again. That's fine. Kira will find out. He's never mentioned a reason. Well, he's pretty cranky. He's like 95. Does he really need a reason for anything? Is he human? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's old. Um, Okay, so everyone had a climber's kit? Yes. Yeah. I was planning on using Mulder, but... Which, which direction do they end? Oh, the board weasel is just down this path and two rights. Fantastic, thank you. You'll see it. It's a disgusting place. It's got a horrible sign of a weasel. Is there any other taverns in town? <laughs> sure aren't. <laughs> really, it's a lovely place you have here. Is there somewhere I could buy fresh foodstuffs? Uh, well, Karen down two stalls has some pretty good fresh food. You're saying pretty good instead of excellent. Well, we're small here. I mean, we get what we get. We've got this horrible were rat who keeps stealing from people who are around Mashika? here. Mashika? I don't know. I don't listen to his She's crazy ramblings. dead. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we had an altercation she outside. She had a lot of town. children that are not going to be happy about them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know where they are, but I know she has children and they. So they, you're saying Mashika is head of a were rat bandit ring? I what? mean, I don't know her life story. Do you know where she lived? <laughs> no. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to go to the food stall. Is there anything worth buying? Uh, why don't you give me a survival roll, nature roll, one of those? Okay, well that's a 17 plus... Nature... No, I'm gonna go survival because that's a plus three. Uh, 20, 30, 20. Yeah, um, everything is about two days older than she says it is. Oh. <sighs> But it's well, still not bad. We're just gonna good bury it up it's while we okay. stay here. Maybe camp. <laughs> while he's doing that, can I look around for like a city watch or like a town watch or something? Sure. Like a guard or something. Um. Yeah. There's a elf, a young, like a eighteen year old looking elf, uh, who's just kind of patrolling the, the market. We'll say. You there? Um. Oh hey. I heard you guys have had a rare rat problem. Yes, Mashika. Do you know where Mashika comes from? Like where she lives or where she hides out? Or? I don't. She's really just been plaguing this area for the last couple weeks. I feel like Mashika was added to the story. I don't think we're supposed to <laughs> hunt down Mashika. <laughs> well, I'm not necessarily tempting to do that. Um, Mashika's dead. Oh, by your hand. Yeah. Um, but I just found out that she has children. Ugh, I don't doubt it. So maybe watch out for that. Will do, sir. Thank you for the warning. I'm a bit short-staffed, as we are a small town, so I'm doing my best. I just got promoted. Oh, good, uh, good, good for you. Okay, yeah. So, so I. So yeah. So I'm the one to talk to. If, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Did he get promoted? <laughs> 
I'm people just here to so let people know. <laughs> I'm sure let people know that there might be a problem with some vengeful were rat children. We were such and petty. Job. We were such petty, like <laughs> big town fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we're like this little pathetic garbage town. <laughs> we're the one treating them like garbage. No, I'm just saying, like, like we're sitting here going, like, how did he get promoted? <laughs> Although it's more so asking, like, oh, was there like murder or fault? <laughs> like, how did how did this happen? Okay, I'll join up. Back. What do you guys do? Go to the inn. Yeah. I mean, that's what I would like to do. I don't know who'd like to join me. I, I, I yeah. I'll go yeah. with. Yeah. I mean, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll say it's like late afternoon, probably. Okay. Um, just so you guys kind of have a bearing on that. Um, as you walk into the board weasel. It's a modest tavern. It has um, several people in there mulling around. They all look really comfortable. Um, and people are talking about it being pretty comfortable. Um, at the bar, you see a cocoa skinned human man um, with a great big white puff of hair on the top of his head. And he's just kind of busily, he's just busying himself. He's cleaning things, shuffling. You know, he moves pretty slowly, but he's shuffling around, doing his thing. Ben Lindrabardi, uh, head tavern master of the uh, hearth at Candlekeep. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to do a different one. So. Hello, how are you today? Uh... That was all I was planning on saying, Kira. Look, and I have a delicious salt surprise. You need some? I mean, I, need some. I have to know. We had, <laughs> we heard phenomenal things from the market about it. Uh, you can't believe the thing they say in that market. But he said it was good. Uh, other than that, of course. <laughs> Can I do a snob chef check? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Did he give us food? Yeah. 13? You all need some here. 13? 13. It tastes okay. <laughs> but but is it okay? <laughs> you can't determine what fish is the fish surprise, but you do think it is actual fish. Okay. And it is very salty. I'm just gonna eat it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes. You can press the vegetation. Yes. Lucas, you make this less salty. we heard some <laughs> wonderful <laughs> Terrible rumors about <laughs> the possibility of the mine reopening here. <laughs> no, no, you, that will you never mean happen. Earth, which is salt, which is rock, and you're salt sensitive. Oh my god. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you know if there's anything that we can do to help make sure that it doesn't? Do? You can go missing like the rest of the town did. <laughs> like my beloved wife, Lorna. Oh. God, now you've made me think about mad, bad things. I wish I hadn't fed you all. I didn't eat any, anything, if it's any consolation. It's for the best. Now, see here, I may be an old man, but I make the most salty fish surprise in this here area. And if you can't show me the proper respect, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. This is my establishment, after all. I, I have to say, this is truly the best salty fish surprise that I have ever had. Honestly, I would love I to learn the recipe so I could uh, uh, name it after you at my own tavern. Don't condescend to me. I haven't had it, but by <laughs> the look of it, it's d- demonstrably bad. <laughs> well, at least the dragonborn knows to tell the truth when he's been caught. So, so uh, what, what, what happened? What would happen if someone opened the mine again? Well, I don't know. They could get it open. It'd probably just cave in on them again. Or they'd go missing like everybody did. Uh, so so you, you, your wife w- went missing. Uh, how, how did that happen? Well, I, I don't know exactly. She, she survived the initial collapse. She crawled her way out of the dark. She was a fiery woman, and she survived just to go missing five days later. 
It was the biggest tragedy of my life. I still carry that with me 70 years later. Did she... You said she disappeared. Where? From our bed. During she the was night? there when, when I went to sleep and then gone when I woke up. Never to be seen again, my beautiful wife. Did other people disappear that same night? I don't, I don't <coughs> know exactly. It was so long ago, but I mean, there was a bunch of people going missing around that time. She wasn't the first <coughs> after the collapse. Are there other people <coughs> from that time period still in the town? Well, the only other person who knew anything about Vermeon is Astra Vorn. They work in the, fi- the f- in a flower stall in the market. But <laughs> good luck getting any information out of them. They just likes to gossip. Gossip's good. Gossip is great. And I will do my best to finish the bowl of salt if you're surprised. So... <clears throat> You're really going up there now? Do you want more? No. I'm not going to eat mine. I'm very full after one, but thank you. grabs it from you and like just dumps it down his throat. (laughs) (laughs) I... I, Turtle. (laughs) I'm sorry about your your wife. Uh, That does not sound pleasant. Um, Well, we're going to go and try to restart the mine, and I I hope people don't disappear. Um, well, if you're going up there, I left my engagement present to her, a necklace in an old tree in the center of town. Maybe you could recover that for me. And maybe here's a gold piece, buy some nice flowers from Astra and put those on Lorna's grave. She deserves that. We'd be happy to. Uh, Yeah, yes. Good. And come back for my stew when you're hungry again. So, the oh. necklace was in a tree in the middle of the mining town or in the middle of this town? In the middle of the mining town. Well, we will hopefully come back to have your stew with the necklace. I look forward to that. I hope you all don't go missing too. Thank you. I'll take some something else if, if we come back, if, if you have it. What? What? Just Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> I mean, you look like a learned boy. I might have some books in the back. I don't have much oh, use for them. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> if you have books, I, I could give them a good re- resting bring, resting place. Yes, bring me Lorna's necklace and I'll see what I've got for you. Oh, oh I was going to do it. I'm 95 after all. I have but, many books. Sure, yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> I will get a- access to your p- personal library. <laughs> and you're sure you don't want me to go back in the kitchen and give you a few tips? Now listen. Well, on that, I think we're going to go. I've made it to 95 yeah, right. years old. We'll see ourselves out. Thank you so much for the information. Good luck. I'm not sure I feel good about leaving this man in this current state. Did you taste Oh that? my god, <laughs> let it go. I, it was perfectly fine for salted fish. <laughs> Where is he getting the fish? <laughs> it's preserved. It can be. That's what salt fish is. Oh. It's like jerky. That's the surprise. What do you guys do now? That it is actually fish. <laughs> I uh, guess we'll go to the flower stall, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I am kind of excited to see flowers. All right, so you see a kind of ginger and white-haired person uh, kind of drifting through a flower stall. Um, They is a half-elf, and (laughs) that is what they look like. (laughs) That nose is so big. (laughs) You little babies, wake up. Uh, what kind of flowers does he have? Um, he's got mostly varietals that are common to that area. Um, he does, or they has um, one variety that's really rare in this area that looks like they tend it directly. And so they've got like a little um, cover over it, little misters by it. 
um, and he's got, or they've got um, kind of glossed over eyes that make it look like they probably can't see. Uh, Wake up, little babies. Do they have any empty pots laying around? Sure. Uh, Kirill, as a, uh, mm. I'd like to try something before Somebody you. had the stool at the board weasel recently. Hello, people. Uh, we did. Uh, so I would like to use I druid didn't. craft to, in that empty pot, grow a rare chult flower that he's probably <gasps> never seen before. What is that new spell? I smell a new flower all of a sudden. What? Oh, oh. As a gift. What? Did <laughs> someone do this for me? I love presents. Just go be talking. I'm here, people <laughs> whispering. Uh, I don't hi. Know what they're saying. We we want to restart the, the platinum mine, um, and we oh. we heard people disappear, and um, I heard from the old man that, that tried to give me some fish soup that we that you we should talk to you because you, you really enjoy gifts. Gossip. I do like gifts. And this. While it will not last, is a flower from Cholt. <gasps> oh, Cholt, I've never been there. I've heard good things. They have wonderful flowers there. And I'll, what color is it? Explain it to me. I'll it is place like the vibrant, flower in their hand. It's a vibrant <gasps> indigo. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. You rarely see indigo flowers these days. Yes, the love of my life described it to me, and I've been semi-obsessed with it ever since. Mm. Good eye, a good eye. Well, they're dead. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. We'd um, heard that a very unfortunate fate had struck much of uh, Vermeon in the surrounding area with the mine. Oh, yes, it was a terrible tragedy. I was but a little thing. My family fled when some of the when some of the people in the mine went missing too. It was terribly scary. You know, my friend Fiona, she told me a story once about this haunted house, and it made me think about that time in my life. Now the haunted house she went to was really far away though. Have you heard of it? It's called Brandfax, I think. Very interesting. Terrible stories about that place though. We've been. It is. You've been? That's so strange. I can't wait to tell Fiona. Fiona, are you nearby? No, I don't think she's nearby, but later (laughs) I will tell her. Is there anything you might tell us to help us put to rest those that were taken? Put to rest? Well, I don't know where they are. Well, we'd like to try to find them. Well, I don't think you can find them. I think they're dead wherever they are. Perhaps find the remains to give the families some peace. And hopefully prevent it from ever happening again. And an engagement necklace on a tree. Oh, Lorna's necklace. Lucas loved Lorna so much. They were inseparable. <coughs> I don't remember from my time there. Well, uh, Lucas w- was pretty gray on how his wife actually uh, did the, the, the whole dis- disappearing um, would you would you know how, how how that how that happened? Well, I just remember that there was the explosion and it made everybody so sad, so sad. Fiona was there at that time. She was my good friend, but it seemed like people would go missing, even walking in groups. I remember there were. Rumors of voices being heard in the trees. But I'm not sure why people would go missing. We never saw anything take anybody. And it was only the people that survived the accident that had been missing. Well, I do think that after all the people that survived the accident went missing, other villagers went missing too. Yes, yes, I think they did. Fiona's uncle went missing, yes. Uh, companions. Wake up, little babies. Companions, are we staying here the night before heading out? Uh, I don't believe there's anywhere else to stay, unless we camp. And the people who went missing were in Vermeon? They were in the actual mining town. Yes, yes, in Vermeon. Okay, so no one has gone missing from this town. 
terrible nightmares they had. My mother, yes, that's why we left ultimately. She had terrible nightmares. But since you've moved, no, no one's No, Maven has you. been safe. We we really just came down the mountain, and I've, I've been here ever since, and it's been lovely. It, Fiona's here too. Is your is your mother the one that went missing? No, no, we fled. Mm. We were able to leave the town mm. before either of us went missing, but yes, she did have nightmares. No no, no nightmares in, in, in this, this town? No. Cameron is nice. Do you remember any of the nightmares in Vivian? Oh, goodness, I do not. My mother didn't like to trouble me with those details. Mm. I think I heard a traveler saying once he dreamt of drowning. But he was scared of drowning. So, yeah, why wouldn't you have a nightmare about that? Perhaps we can speak to Fiona after we rest a bit. Oh, Fiona's out of town right now. Do you know? That's right. That's why she's not nearby. She left. She went out of town. Insane. Go ahead. She's not important. That's why I'm saying she's out of town. Go talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, insight is a ten. Last little can't roll over a ten. Um, it is weird that. Astra contradicted themselves, saying that, like, is she here? And then now she's not. Um, you get the feeling like maybe Fiona's made up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, where are you all from? I'd love to hear tales from the road. Well, perhaps once things are settled, we can mm. uh, so take much. tea with you. I'd love that. Maybe if you survive going up to the mountain, you can let me know how it went after. Then I can be more helpful to future travelers. I love to talk to people. And then why do you think that the flower won't last forever? Because Druid crafted that. Well, but like I could have time. time. I'll make sure hmm. she makes it. Right? We have a good relationship now, don't we? It should be a permanent flower. <laughs> I don't get the seat though. It was lovely oh, to meet my, you, Astra. Uh, trinket it from was my well. Safe travels. <laughs> Pick up little babies. Pick up. God, I wish I could awaken his flowers so he had company. <laughs> they had company. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys get your lodging set up and um, take take the rest for the night so you can head up in the morning. And I think that's where we'll end for tonight. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for being with us. If you are still oh, here and you still people. love me, yes. <laughs> I'm insecure. That was amazing. <laughs> um, thank you so much to our patrons, Scott, Johnny Mac, Sparky, David, Daniel, Sean, Alistair, and Rio as well. Um, we will be back, back next Monday, I hope. God, we better be. I can't kill myself if we're not. And uh, we'll come up with chat line eventually. Eventually. <laughs>